hello friends uh, welcome again and uh, this is my new project bakery shop management system and i have developed this project in uh, php and mysql the version for the php i'm using is php version 7 and mysql version is 5.6 also this is a web application so for front-end development i'm using html css and javascript some of the jquery library also i have used like for form validations creating sliders and many more things i have used uh, I have used a jquery right so these all technology stacks i have used for developing this project bakery shop management system so let's start uh, with the functionality go through that what we have implemented inside this project what are the operation you can perform right so the project title is bakery shop management system and it's a php and mysql mini web-based dbms project mini because it has only and only admin login right there is no customer login here right so this is the home page of the project you can say this is a simple home page this is about a page and it's a static about us page this is a login from where admin can log in and this is a contact us and this is a static page i am not sending any type of email and sms from this page even i am not sending any type of even i am not saving this uh, page value anywhere into the database All right so for login side of the system enter the user id and password the user id is admin and password is test so once you log in you will get this dashboard here you can see there are different menu options available miss administration is available reports is available right so let me go through one by one home i already explained you about us this is a dashboard from this page you can jump on that module right like if you want to see the report just click on the product report you will be able to see all of the product report you can edit and update the details right the same menu option which is available here is also available on the header bar so this is the add product from where you will be able to add the products so barcode stock product name type price per item descriptions right once you add the product it will be displayed in the product report you can edit it also right even you can delete the record from here also this is the add sales this is a sales dashboard from where you will be able to sell your products so here uh, the you need to enter the customer name first so suppose i am entering the question and the customer mobile once you click on the current new billing you will get this option right here you can select the food items means the bakery items add right so you can see the items are here adding here right so if you want to delete anyone just hit the minus button it will be deleted and if you want to add more then you can add more right if you want to change the quantity just select the quantity and that uh, uh, price will be calculated automatically you can see all things are going calculating automatically right okay so bill number is 20 this is today's date and the customer and the mobile number from this drop down will contain all of the product which you have added once you click on the save and print you will get this form and you can print it from your printer also once you click on the print then it will be printed from your printer okay so this is the add sales from where you will be able to add the sales this is a product report from where you will be able to see all of the product reports you can search your product from here the cell support all of the cells which you have made will be displayed here if you want to see the details just click on the view details you will be able to see the details of that cells right means the cells item you can see this is the details this is a change password from where you will be able to update your account password and after updating your account password you will be able to log in with your updated password and the logout once you click on the logout then all the session will be destroyed and this menu will not be displayed so logout you can see the menu is not coming because it's a session driven menu it renders according to the session so once you log in then you can see menus are coming because admin session has been set but if you log out then uh, the menu option administration menu is not coming right so this all functionalities i have developed inside this project bakery shop management system and as i told you earlier this project i have developed in php and mysql and this is a mini dbms project right so if you need more functionality in this project just put it into the comment i will incorporate the changes i will make this project more better and better according to requirements 
and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest projects videos on the latest classes thanks for watching the video thank you very much